Hey guys, it's Irish again. In this video I thought I'd do a review of Xmonad. Now what exactly is, is Xmonad? Uh, if we come to the uh, to their main site, Xmonad is a dynamically tiling X11 or Xorg window manager that is written and configured in Haskell. In a normal uh, window manager you spend half your time aligning and searching for windows aka like uh, enlightenment or open box uh, so this will just like in i3 and in awesome it tiles it for you so you don't have to do this uh, and I just I still like this little part it's just a little pitch for why you want to pick xmonad so xmonad is tiling it automates stuff it's minimal uh, that is for sure because when you do uh, install xmonad for the very first time you just get a blank screen. Uh, so if you had a wallpaper set up uh, before, it would stay there and you would think you're still waiting for stuff to uh, boot up, but it is there. It does not come with any bars, no no anything. So you have to set everything up. Uh, it's featureful, which it is for sure. It does come with some basic stuff. Uh, this I do not believe is the case. Xmonad is not easy. I have been on this for a week and I just recently got everything up to what I would want it to do. So it is to me uh, it is pretty difficult uh, to get started with this but with their documentation and looking at other people's configs and going to their IRC channel, which is X, uh, hashtag Xmonad, uh, they are very helpful in there. They can help you get started really fast. And also, uh, you can join their uh, mailing list and the IRC channel. So, again, like I said before, it does come uh, with blank. So to open up, it does in behind come with some default stuff so if you do a alt shift and then enter it brings up and then if you t uh, mod and then space you can switch between layouts it does come with mirrored layout a uh, tabbed layout and stuff like that this is my own personal one that I found uh, searching on the Google so this is the grid so this is what the grid looks like I always like to have my uh, network stuff over here one free so I can update my computer and look at any configs I need to and then this box here for the WeChat uh, that's where I talk to um, every every night so let's just exit there um, and so this bar up here is called X Mobar so you do have to download this separately it does not come with it and then it does come with its own config file. We'll take a look briefly at these config files, but uh, let's uh, look at that right really quick right here. So if we go to gedit xmonad slash xmonad.hs and let's see if we can oh. so as you can see again this even the xmonad.hs, which is for Haskell, does not come when you download it. You have to create it yourself, uh, and you have to create everything that you see here. Uh, in the documentation on their website, they do come with a sample config, so just to get you up and running. But then you can mod it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so right here is just my, my colors are from up here that's white for my the white colors uh, and then you have to import xmonad and a whole bunch of this here are my layout my grids my, no borders tabbed and then you just have to make the pipe all of this into it <clears throat> so you have to call your terminal which is my urxvt my workspaces the keys how you want them like this right here uh, border color all this stuff the one thing I could not, uh, I'm still trying to work on, is trying to get uh, my icons, my awesome icons that you see in my i3 config file. 
uh, I'm still unable to pipe those in so I'm gonna try to figure that out and I can make a video once I if I figure it out I will make a video <clears throat> so here's the basic ones uh, so if you click mod 1 which is uh, the window uh, mod 4 is the window uh, is the Windows key so mod and then shift to return is to to do that and then D to uh, to do the uh, D menu here uh, you have to change this to Q so you can kill it it doesn't come up with that and then as you just go down you can um, it just focuses so you can so if I wanted to go over to left I would just go mod shift and I would just use the J K L N so I would use the J and the K to move up and down to these different sides and then uh, these uh, I always put in for my volume control and then my brightness control and I do have a video on my i3 on how to create this if you want to take a look at that and then it, it again as you can see it can be very intimidating to look at this code trying to figure out because Haskell is very very stingy you have to have the correct spaces you have to have you know you have to have it at least uh, two tabs and I, I believe a few spaces just to get this lined up you have to have at least a tab on this part and if you're off by just a little bit uh, and you recompile Xmonad then it will not work and you have to go and try to fix it and then this I did have standalone tray but uh, up here I forgot to mention up here is called trayer and I pipe that into my X in it RC file and it just shows uh, some of the uh, applications that have uh, system tray icons uh, you can't see it now but my sy simple screen recorder is behind the time here I still need to try to figure out how to increase this up there is one bug that I have noticed uh, that has affected um, Xmonad so if you're trying to run Steam um, Steam will will think that the game is running. You'll be able to hear the game running, but because of the way that your layout is, or how you have it in the con uh, into the <clears throat> or have it in the configs, um, it just will not go full screen. So there is a workaround. There is some stuff on on the Steam website, and I saw some on the Arch uh, forums but they still have not been able I still not have been able to get Steam working on this uh, window manager so I will try to get that so I can play and hopefully stay on this for a little bit but uh, that's all I really have for this it is short uh, I again I'm very new at the Xmonad uh, window manager it is very nice you can customize it like you do in i3 and also in uh, awesome window manager uh, just will uh, yeah here's like one of the see what you can do here um, so that is all I have for Xmonad uh, I will pretty soon I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to set up the Tor web browser and just the Tor network uh, so that's just going to take me a while I do have some class, classes to finish up so once that's done I'll be uh, making uh, a video for that and I'm also planning on making a spin of Arch with i3 and everything set up the way that I have it so if you guys are interested please let me know in the comments so I'm not wasting my time with it so again I'll catch you guys next video